most survival games. If an alien landed on Earth and wanted to understand the full range of humanity, our deep core, what every single one of us is at a base level, the default code of a human being, I would show them survival games. Survival games were invented, or at least popularized, by one specific game. A game everyone understands and loves. A game that changed gaming as a whole. Minecraft. It was a simple idea, a procedural world, and one simple idea, mine and craft. But as it developed, it only took shape when one game mode was released. A game mode so innovative that it became a genre. Survival. I love survival games. They may be my favorite genre of game. It's a concept and loop that plays into the base desires and mechanisms of humanity. There are so many amazing survival games. Minecraft, Terraria, Don't Starve, Rust, Seven Days to Die, The Forest, Subnautica, Starbound, No Man's Sky, Ark Survival Evolved, Raft, and billions of clones. You might be wondering, what is a survival game? And why do they work? Well, don't worry. Here's what I believe is required to be a successful survival game. Number one, combat. There needs to be a threat. Something that will eventually come and fuck you up. Monsters at night, aliens in the distance, a horde of zombies, other players, murderous cannibals. You need something to defend against, something to worry about. Something for your lizard brain to fear, prepare, fight, and overcome. Two, food, water, and stamina. It may seem like a nuisance, but humans get tired, and they need fuel. They have limits, and it's what we do when we reach those limits that defines us. If I need food and water, then I have to find them, cultivate them, grow them, until I no longer need them. Three, a goal. As a human, we need more than just these base needs. We strive for more. We want, we suffer, and we fail for more. It's our greatest strength and our most self-destructive weakness. In order to give a survival game an ending, we need a greater purpose. Killing an epic boss, building an empire, finding a loved one, uncovering a mystery, building an army, conquering reality, or just as simple as surviving until rescued. Some survival games don't have that end goal, and eventually, you just stop playing. You feel as if there are no more worlds to conquer. Survival is my favorite because it feels right. By giving me enemies to defeat, food and water to maintain, and goals to conquer, you are tricking me, distracting me, pulling me away from this terrible, monstrous reality into a new one, a simpler one, one that gives me all the dopamine I need, that fulfills what I desire in my blood, what billions of humans have lived and died for. Survival. Some games have gone even beyond this and found even more love giving me pets and friends, connecting me with other real-life people, surviving together, thriving together, building a world together. I've spent thousands of hours with people I care about, breaking blocks and making shit. Minecraft and all the games I listed aren't about mining or crafting. If you removed crafting mechanics, it would feel emptier, but it wouldn't take away from what's at the center of survival. That perfect loop, explore, Meet an obstacle, understand the obstacle, prep, and defeat the obstacle. And even more than that, conquer the obstacle and use it for your own ends. Adapt, consume, destroy, and assimilate like the ravenous human you are. That's why I love survival. And as always, I'm Aloni. Thanks for listening. Bye.